Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about tests or test case creation in Postman. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will see what are tests in Postman, how do we create tests at different levels like a request level, folder level and collection level and then we will create some tests, we will run the test and check the result or response. So let's get started. In Postman, tests are JavaScript code that can be executed or that is executed after receiving the response. So after we run a request or an API request and after we get the response, the test scripts are executed and based on whatever you have mentioned in the test scripts, it will be considered as pass or fail. And if you do not add any test, your request will not be considered as pass or fail. So let's see uh, here, if I go to my postman and I go to any of the request, you can see here we have the test section and this is where we can add the tests. So whatever script we add here are considered as tests and we also have these snippets. So if you want you can directly add the tests from here and if you go to the collection level again we have the tests here. We have a test section here and we have these snippets here so you can also add the tests at a collection level or if you have a folder inside a collection we have the test section here as well and you can add the snippets from here. So let's say uh, I will add this get user list and I will put this inside my folder or let me just duplicate it and this copy I'm going to put it inside this new folder and this is my request I will go to the test section I'm just going to remove everything here and here I'm going to set some test or I'm going to create some tests so I can see these snippets so here let us say I will check status code is 200 so here is the snippet check status code is 200 so I will add this and you can see the test is added now here in this test script this is the name of the test so if you want you can change this I will say here verify status code is 200 and then let me see I will add this as well uh, check response time is less than 200 so here I will give the name to the test verify response time is less than 200 and I will save this and let us see I will run this now and check the response so you can see we have got the result and here now you can see the test result and here you can see Verify status code is 200 has passed and verify response time is less than 200 has failed because our response time was more than 200 milliseconds. So we got the response in 2.38 seconds which is more than 200 milliseconds. Also you can see the filters here if you just want to see the passed or failed or all you can see all the results here. So this is how you can uh, create tests and run the test and see the results and if I try to run the collection so let us say I go to this collection and I say run collection and if I just say run it here also you can see the results of the test so all the APIs which have any script in the test section you can see the results here so all these results are coming and this you will get only after you have added the scripts in the test section you can also see the summary here and you can see all these tests and in the APIs where we have not added any test you can see there are no tests here so you can run it like this as well and you can run these tests when we run from the command line using newman or run from Jenkins all this we will learn in the coming sessions so here we have created the API request we have checked the test sections under request collection and folder and then we have created the tests and executed the tests so this is how we can add and run tests in postman i hope this was useful for you in the coming session we will learn more about tests i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning